GASTO is the acronym for a study that we call Growing Up in Singapore Towards Healthy Outcomes. This is a birth cohort that we started about 10 years ago in 2009. We recruited about 1,200 uh, women in the first trimester of pregnancy and then we followed them and their babies up until the point where they delivered the their children. And, now, and we've been following up the children and the families ever since. The Singapore Institute for Clinical Sciences, or SICS, is a research institute of the A-STAR that focuses on human uh, conditions. And the one condition that we are particularly interested in is metabolic disease. Women who were diagnosed with gestational diabetes are themselves at risk of developing type 2 diabetes in the future. One of the uh, surprising things in Singapore is that within five years, 13% of our GDM mothers have already got type 2 diabetes and a further 30% have got pre-diabetes. The Human Development Research Centre is meant to be an integrated facility for multidisciplinary research. So essentially it's a one-stop shop for us to do research in babies, infant, toddlers, children, all the way to adulthood and it covers all sorts of disciplines including cognition and metabolic outcomes. So like all metabolic disorders, we will expect some of the lifestyle attributes like for example nutrition as well as physical activity to affect one's odds for GDM. So in our group, we actually find that high physical activity is associated with lower GDM risk, especially in the overweight and obese group of women. Nutrition-wise, we find that deficiency in certain vitamins like vitamin B12 and vitamin D actually affects one's risk of GDM as well and increases one's fasting glucose. There's also other lifestyle attributes that can contribute but it's lesser known. So for example, like sleep and sleep quality. So in Gasto, we actually find that women with short sleep duration of less than 6 hours per night or have poor sleep quality have higher risk of GDM. So in terms of prevention, I think it's good to let the mothers prepare themselves before they are pregnant. So to reduce the incidence of obesity or overweight status, to have appropriate gestational weight gain and that's not excessive and of course uh, to watch the diet and continue to lead a healthy lifestyle throughout their pregnancy. The proportion of women who manage to regulate their glucose levels just on lifestyle changes alone is actually quite good because only 5% uh, or so of women require insulin therapy. And this is a very low proportion by comparison to other Western countries. In the past, we have always been only doing high-risk screening, but I think our gastro study has revealed that uh, there are many women who did not satisfy the high-risk criteria, but yet they are found to be diabetic. One major step forward is really to do a universal screening on all women who are pregnant. That's one way to detect everybody at risk. Universal screening for gestational diabetes has been introduced in all the public maternity units in Singapore. We will keep on trying to find out more about gestational diabetes and what the risk factors are for women uh, for developing this condition.